Hey everybody and welcome back to John Plays Games. We are here playing Star Fox Command. Uh, we just finished up our first mission in Sector Z. There may be more, but we've done at least one mission in Sector Z. And uh, Fox has a question for Crystal. What was that all about, Crystal? What do you mean? Is it true? Do you really fly with Wolf and his cronies? You hurt me, Fox. I was upset. I... I wanted to get back at you. I need to do this closer to the mic. I did what I did, because I was worried about you. I didn't want you to be hurt. That's why I said it would be better if you left the team. I know that. I can't believe you just up and vanished. And then to top it off, you joined Star Wolf. What were you thinking? Hey, Fox, maybe you should throttle down a little. You're not blameless in this, buddy. I understand how she feels. Falco's right! That's slippy in this episode. Crystal just wanted to be with you forever. He sounds like Mickey Mouse now. Uh, forever and ever. That's all. I mean, sheesh. Couldn't you see that? I'm the one who got close to Wolf. I'm the one who convinced them to help. Speaking of Wolf and the others, what happened to them? I was with them up until we destroyed the Angler headquarters. The one at the bottom of the Venom Sea. When we were finished, our ships began to corrode. When we pulled out, we ended up getting scattered. You flew into the Venom Sea? That thing is pure acid! You're crazy! Or is that just the acid? Right. I've heard enough. We're going in to fight the Angler Emperor right now. Will you help us, Crystal? I'm sorry about all of this, Fox. No more apologies. Not from you. I was wrong. You know, I'm worried about Wolf and his crew. Really? Once the fighting's done, I think we should go and look for them. Hey! Hold on there, Fox! Let's just leave those goons to their fate! Listen up, all of you. We're going to take down the Angler Emperor. Once we're done, we'll continue looking for Wolf and his gang. I don't know. I'd like to say that I hate this plan, but I don't. I guess it works for me. Fox, guys, I'm sorry for all the trouble. Don't cry to me when this goes all wrong! Alright, so we're off to the asteroid belt to fight off the Angler. Oh, there's more. Emperor Angler, sir. Shall we continue on to Corneria? Not yet, Zawson. Let us rendezvous with the other units first. We were patient. Let those fools... Oh, we are patient. Let those fools sweat for a little while longer. But, sir, if I may speak, our entire unit in Sector Z has been wiped out. We believe Star Fox and his companions are the ones responsible. It is of no matter. Let us prepare a greeting for our new friend. Yes, my Emperor. Ooh, his voice was a mistake. <coughs> Listen up, everyone. We're going to bring the fight to the enemy. It's time to settle this, once and for all. This is all-out war. Fly safe, and watch your backs. If things get too hairy, we'll fall back and regroup, understand? Fall back? Bah! That's not how I do things. Stick around, you angler worms! We're coming for you! Crystal, don't try to take on more than you have to. Okay. Oh, she changed outfits. We're clear on that, right? Fox, listen. I think... All ships prepped and ready for launch. Team Star Fox, attack! Okay. We are, like, at the finale of this. I'm not sure exactly how many missions there are on the first run through, but, uh... We're close, I think. This might even be the last one, for all I know. I, f I feel like there might be one more, but I could be wrong. Okay. One mistake could cost you your life. Okay. Turn one. Oh no! I always do that. I was like, yeah, I'll take turn one, and then I'm actually saying to skip turn one, and that's not what I want. Oh well, we can deal with a little, uh, a little handicap here at the beginning. Okay, so what do we got going on up here? We got this guy there, we got a base there, we got some more enemies in there. Okay, so Crystal, head for the base, 
What is... Can I see what that guy is? Those guys. Maybe I'll take out them with crystal. Well, Slippy will probably just draw them in anyway. Yeah, I can just do this, and Slippy will grab him on his way. And then Crystal is going to go just straight through. Um, Falco, go up and take that base out. Can he get there in one turn? Yes, he can. Okay. Fox will go around the outside like that. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's try it out. Good, Slippy got that guy. Crystal might get that. Perfect, okay. Excellent. Okay. Now let's see. Have we fought the thing that Crystal's fighting before? I might do that one first because I'm, I'm not sure that I'm ready for it. I'm not sure how easy it'll be. Okay, just one of them. Gotta fight this big snake thing. Oh, her ship changes. Didn't remember that. Her music is still awesome, though. Can I just barrel roll into these things and hurt them? I'm not sure. There we go. Perfect. It's almost dead. Almost dead. Finish it off, Crystal. There you go. Alright, that went well. That ship looks cool. I like that ship a lot more than the one that she starts out with from, from Wolf's team. I, don't, I couldn't tell if it handles any different. I'm recording this and the last episode are in totally different sessions, so I don't really remember how the other one handled. Um, okay, let's do, uh, let's do Fox, because we're bad with Fox. And by we, I, I mean I. Okay, we gotta kill these fish. Might be a good opportunity to use a bomb, I guess. One. Two. Oh, cool, like a lock is pretty much an instant kill on these guys, that's convenient. This would have been better with somebody who had, like, a slightly better multi-lock, though. I think Falco has a multi-lock, or he would have been a better one to use against these guys. Okay, they're behind me. I need to just slow up here. There we go. Get him! Or he just he just flew up and he never came back. There's one. Oh, I missed that guy. Where'd he go? There we go. I'm still missing some. I think they're all behind me. Let's just loop around. Oh, I wanted that. I wanted that. Thank you. Okay, and that one. Get it. Perfect. Okay. We're off to a great start, which is always how it goes, and then just something horrible happens, and we wind up losing. Alright. Uh, we'll do one of Slippies here. Okay, these things. Oh, maybe I... Oh, this would have been better with Falco, so he could do the lock. But maybe Slippy will be okay, because his shots are a lot stronger. So we can just kind of boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah, that's not so bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, I spoke too soon. All right, let's loop back around. Watch out for that one. Oh, jeez. And, oh, did I get it? I don't think, no, there's still one left. Whoop, got it. Right? Yeah, there it is. Alright! Cool. So, we'll give Valko the next one, and then we'll, I guess they're both at bases, aren't they? Um, let's do Valco. I don't like these enemies that he has to fight, so... Get them out of the way. We're doing good on time, which is nice. It's gonna sound weird, but the beginning of Falco's theme in this reminds me of the soundtrack to the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin. Something about the synthesizers, um, just 
you'll just have to go with me on this. It, it sounds like the Super Nintendo version of Aladdin. If you've played that, then maybe you'll recognize. It sounds like the like when you use a Super Nintendo synthesizer to play a uh, whole new world, and it's like do 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 do. That's what it. That's what the beginning of Falco's theme sounds like, and it sounds just like the synthesizers they use in that game to play it. I'm sure, like you know, maybe two of you actually know what I'm talking about, and the rest. No idea. And a lot of you are wondering why I'm even playing the Super Nintendo of Aladdin rather than the Genesis version of Aladdin. But guess what? Super Nintendo version's better, and anyone who disagrees is, well, wrong. Genesis version does look very nice, but the Super Nintendo version is what I like to call a good game, whereas the Genesis version is a very nice interactive piece of art um, that, as a game, plays pretty horribly. Anyway, back to Star Fox. I'm hoping that all the comments for this episode will just be about Aladdin. That will be great. Alright. Still really good on time, so Slippy should have no trouble finishing off his mission here. Okay. Goo! We have a lot of time. We came out of that with more time than we started, so... We got four of these little weird-shaped doodads to take care of. I don't think we've fought these things before. They seem pretty simple. Oh, 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 jeez, okay. Yeah, they seem pretty simple, though. Where is the next one? Is that one? Nope. Is that one? Nope. That's one right there. Come here, you bugger. I'm gonna shoot ya! Ah, your green nuggets are no match for me. Oh, I did that without even taking damage. Aren't there... F oh, maybe I've only destroyed two. Where are... Is that one on the radar? No. Oh, wait, was that one that just flew over me? Oh, that was one. That was one. Yeah, there he is. Oh, geez, right into the purple. Oh, man, it's all going horribly wrong. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. And over here is the last one. Woo. All right. Oh, right, I still have to destroy this, don't I? As long as I don't manage to mess this up, then, uh, this first turn, which was a very active turn, we had like five different fights in it, uh, went perfectly! So that's a good way to start off, I like that. Now we just clean up, really. I mean, how much more can they have? We already took out two of their bases, and three of their squadrons. Got that missile to take care of, and I'm sure there's something on that uh, asteroid in the far back. Okay, they've launched a missile. The music got very depressing there. Whoops, sorry. You guys have to understand like how I'm holding this. I have to like I push I push the A button. I play it sideways, right? And then I push the A button to shoot. And so that means that the entire time while I'm playing, I have to just hold it by the bottom of the gamepad and support it from the bottom while I'm playing. But I try to look at the TV, because I don't want the entire episode to be redoing this like it has been in previous episodes. So it's, um, it's kind of rough on the wrist. I need, like, a little stand to, like, a little music stand for the gamepad. Okay. Uh... Okay, there is a base back there. Okay, I don't see anything. Let's just be safe, we'll have Slippy go around the outside there. Now we'll have Crystal get this missile. Um, Fox, you'll go in here and... Ooh, can you get to that missile? Because that would be great. We'll get there. We will get there. Come on. That might work. We'll try that. See if that gets it. And then Falco. Yeah, that'll have to do. That'll work. 
I'm not sure if there's too much more. I don't know. There might be stuff in the middle that I'll be missing, but we'll see. Seems okay. Fox did get the missile. Awesome. So we just need to take down two missiles. Easy peasy. And we have two characters that have lock. Taking down missiles with Slippy kind of sucks, because he doesn't have the lock on. It's a tough one. Or I just didn't get the full lock on the first time, but it seemed like a tough one. It had a lot of health. Okay, now for Crystal. Alright. Crystal's icon looks weird in this. Like her face just looks odd. So did they just have an extra ship for Crystal just like hanging around on Great Fox? Just in case she showed back up? Because it's not like they just repainted the ship she had before. This is a totally different ship. I like it. Boy, they are really gung-ho about their missiles. Okay, so we should be able to just have someone... We'll have Fox go take out that missile. Can Slippy... Oh, he's stuck in the asteroid field. That's about as far as he can get. Can Falco make it to that base? I don't think there's anything else. Or is that? It almost looks like Slippy's flying over an enemy, but it's hard to tell. Um, okay, let's have Fox just go in for that missile. Falco, jeez, Falco can't get anywhere. It's getting worse. Okay, that's where we have to go with for Falco. Okay. Those asteroids really suck. Oh, he was flying over some time. Well, that, that's nice. Okay, take care of this real quick. We should be able to get to the to the base in the next mission, which will be nice, because they keep launching missiles and slowing us down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! Oh, jeez. I was worried that I wouldn't actually get it in time and then I would miss that last one. That would have been awkward. Okay. You gonna shoot a missile? Something crazy like that? Did you not shoot a missile? You have only two turns remaining. They didn't shoot a missile. That's weird. So you go. You go, you go, and uh, Crystal, you cover the flank. Just cuz. Oh, those little triangle buggers. Well, let's uh, let's use Slippy. Come here. Ooh, I got a bomb. I don't think I needed a bomb, but I got a bomb and some time. Oh, everything is just coming up slippy. There we go. And then where's the other set of them? There it is. I feel like I'm hitting you, but it's just not happening. And last one, P pow Yes, okay. And into the mothership we go. Ah, pa -pa. Okay. 
that should be this mission done, I think, unless they have some sort of surprise ending and twist in and in, in surprise ending in store for us. That's what I was trying to say. It didn't come out that way, but that's what I was going for. Imagine we still have a boss fight left. There it is. No forgiveness, no mercy. I will fight you to the death. Bleh. Oh, this is like in Star Fox 2, Andros sends out that big snake thing right at the end. Or right before the end. This kind of looks like that. Um, should we fight it with Fox just to be like, you know, the ending? Yeah, let's fight it with Fox. Just, you know. To be for the most dramatic effect possible. I don't know if this is actually the ending. I don't remember. But. It'll still be cool if we fight it with Fox. One nugget at a time, maybe? I have no idea. But I'm gonna go with the one nugget at a time theory. Seems like a good theory. On the bright side, it isn't attacking me. Oh geez, the draw distance isn't far enough for me to actually see all of it. Ooh, it got angry at me for something. It looks cool on the radar. Well, he really just doesn't shoot. Oh, when you knock them off, they shoot. Oh, and you can't destroy those parts. Mmm, I see what you got, game. So as I destroy him, he becomes more difficult, but not because he's actually shooting at me more. It's because the parts I knocked off suddenly become a threat. Whereas they weren't previously, except for this thing. This is, uh, different. Oh jeez, I've got him down to like almost nothing. I thought the draw distance just wasn't rendering all of them. Oh jeez. Oh, get the- Ah! Man, I can't- Can I lock onto it or something? Oh, I just have to shoot the middle part, I think. That's all I need to do. Yeah. Oh, jeez. There we go. Oh, there we go. Did you do that? Yay! Was that the end? Did I win? Was that the oh so dramatic first ending of Star Fox Command? Because I'll take it. We did it! We defeated the Angler forces! Right. Gotta push the button. Woohoo! I knew we could do it. Take that, bait breath. It was a bit hairy at times, but we made it through. The most important thing is that we all made it back alive. Except for Wolf. He's super dead. I have picked up Star Wolf on the radar. Oh. Eh? Yay! Was that the end? Results! Yay! Oh, I got a life. Good for me. Alright. What happens now? Wolf. Can't move. Now you've gone and stolen my prey, Fox. How is it you always manage to swoop in and spoil things? We needed this one, but you wet-nosed whelps had to ruin it all. Ah, quit your whining, Fuzzy. We'll make sure that the bounty's taken off your heads. Wolf, Panther, Leon, thank goodness that you're not hurt. It was a barrel of laughs, Princess. Although I think I'm the old... Although I think the old panther's feeling a bit heartbroken. It was a pleasure for Panther too, darling. Your feelings. Panther understood them, but... Panther, I... Panther does not believe you were using him. Ha! Then what were you crying about earlier, eh, lover boy? That's his voice, apparently. We'll meet again, Star Fox. 
Farewell, my sweet crystal. You will return to us one day. This panther believes. Yeah, sorry about all that. Um... It... Sorry. Looks like Star Wolf has really mellowed out! That's nice to see! Yeah, that's Crystal's doing right there. I think you're right. Thanks, all of you. We are receiving a communication from General Peppy. Fox, great job! As a former... As a former Star Fox member myself, I am so proud right now. As much as I would love to take all the credit, General, I can't. This battle was fought on behalf of peace-loving people everywhere. I was about to say animals. They gave us the strength to fight. We owe them our victory. Is essentially what that text box said. Hmm, I see. That means that peace is going to return to this galaxy! Yay! Well, I guess that's a good thing. Although I'm gonna be bored out of my skull. If you'll excuse us, General, we'll take our leave. Wait, let me say one more thing. You're a great leader, Fox McCloud. Perhaps even better than your father. You've really grown up, and I'm extremely proud. That's all I have to say. Th thanks, Peppy. Falco? Slippy, this unit only works because of you. I hope Fox can count on you in the future. Psh, I know that, old-timer. You don't have to spell it out for me. You hang in there, Peppy! And Crystal, thank you for coming back. If anything happens, you can always count on me. Thank you, Peppy. Great Fox, ready for launch? Rob, come about and take us through the access route. Yeah, baby! Ooh, that's a bad line. Team Star Fox, launch! We're going to Aquas, apparently. The members of Star Fox had reunited once more. Again, they put their differences to one side and took the fight to the enemy. And when the dust cleared, peace had once again returned to Lilat. Yet Fox is still troubled by complicated feelings. And his tiny, tiny body and giant head. Do I have to tap? I do. Months pass. One dark day, Crystal makes a startling confession. I'm sorry, Fox. I can't do this anymore. I'm going back to be with Panther and the rest of Star Wolf. Fox was overcome with grief and begged Crystal to stay. But her mind was set. Once again, Fox McCloud was forced to wander the world alone and unloved. But Crystal has no such regrets. She is perhaps the toughest of all the pilots, and she proves it by starting a new life in the elite Star Wolf Squadron. So that's the bad ending. That's the basic, like, your first run through the game ending. Um, and it's not particularly cheery. <gasps> the key of des- <clears throat> The key of destiny is in your hands, but the road to the future contains many paths. The fate of Fox and his companions has been entrusted to you. Okay, that's, that's the end. Alright, so that's one ending. Oh, you don't get the credits? Is there a credits button in the options that I can uh, run here? No? No? Okay. Anyway, that's the first ending of Star Fox Command, um, and that's where I'm going to stop this initial Let's Play, because Star Fox Zero is about to come out, and I don't have time to do all of them. But that means that we have played through at least the most basic version of Star Fox Command. If you guys would like me to play through the rest of the game, um, play through, well, not the rest of the game, but the alternate paths through the game, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. I do really enjoy this game. Um, I think it's a very unique twist on the Star Fox universe. And I'm all about that. Um, but yeah, I'll play through it if you guys want. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And get ready for Star Fox Zero. Where's the embargo? I need to know when I'm going to play on that. And by finishing a run through that game, we have done what we set out to do, which is to play through every single Star Fox game leading up to the launch of Star Fox Zero. We did it. We made it. Just in time, too, because the first episode of John Plays Star Fox Zero will be released 
at 9 p.m. Pacific Time, April 21st. So be sure to tune into that. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so you don't miss it, because we are going to be playing the crap of Star Fox Zero along with Star Fox Guard. That'll also be going up at that same time. So, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you to those of you who stuck with me through this entire thing. If you are not one of those people and you haven't seen it, you can go onto our YouTube channel. You can link to the entire playlist here, and you can watch complete playthroughs of every single Star Fox game ever made, including Star Fox 2. Uh, and it's, it's awesome. So you can just revel in all kinds of Star Fox goodness as you eagerly await Star Fox Zero. So, once again, thank you guys very much for joining me, and uh, I will see you when we play Star Fox Zero together. Bye.